good morning. It's Cobra Caroline from Kids Nature Shows and my good friend Annie the Squirrel. And we're here today to introduce you to learning about trees, specifically deciduous versus evergreen trees. We're also going to learn about trees that are broadleaf and trees that are coniferous. Yeah. And um, a lot of people think that all evergreen trees are also coniferous, which means they have like needles, pine trees, cedar trees, that sort of thing. But there's actually trees that are both broadleaf and evergreen. Isn't that right, Annie? Yep. In fact, right here in the Washington DC area, we have plenty of trees that are both broadleaf and evergreen. And um, you might know some of them in your own backyard, like the holly, American holly has broad leaves and it's evergreen. And then there's also the, um, whoa, Annie, <laughs> there's also, Hold on. There's also the sugar magnolia, which has really big broad leaves and it stays evergreen. So those are broadleaf evergreen trees that you could maybe find right in your own backyard. And then there are also deciduous trees that are coniferous. There's not as many of those in our area. The bald cypress is a native tree. Um, you don't see too many of those right up here in Northern Virginia. There is a population of them on the Roosevelt Island that you might be able to check out once the stay at home orders are done and we can all go outside again. And then also um, there's another tree that is planted in a lot of neighborhoods. It's not native to the Virginia area, but it's native to Asia. It's called the Dawn Cypress. And today I actually brought a couple of interesting things from these trees. Would you like to help me get them, Annie? Yeah, okay, all right, oh, whoa, whoa, look at these little tiny little things. Whoa, look at that, oh, this. This is the little tiny pine cone from a Dawn Cypress. Would you like to help me hold that? Yeah, this is the little Dawn Cypress pine cone. And so the Dawn Cypress actually loses all of its needles in the fall and regrows them in the springtime. It's happening right now in the DC area and it has these little tiny pine cones. But then there's some other um, evergreen trees like, whoa, Annie, can you lift this one? Oh, whoa! That's a, that's a big pine cone, oh my goodness. This big pine cone comes from a Jeffrey pine, which is found in the eastern Sierra Nevadas around Reno and that area. These giant pine cones come from pine trees, which are evergreen. So unlike the Dawn Cypress, which loses its needles, the Jeffrey pine and most other pine trees retain their needles. You're getting tired, aren't you? This is a big, heavy pine cone, whoa. Okay, all right. So another interesting thing that kind of looks like a pine cone, but it's not, this, which can you show them that? This, this is a little seed pod from the Southern Magnolia. It actually looks kind of like a pine cone, doesn't it? Yeah. And so this little, this little seed pod is what drops off of that broadleaf evergreen tree. So trees can be both broadleaf and evergreen, and trees can also be coniferous and deciduous. Whew, that's a lot. In fact, just in case you want to see how that's written. <laughs> Whoa, thank you for helping me. So we've got coniferous versus broadleaf, and then we've got deciduous, help me out with this, deciduous versus evergreen. And so that's what we learned about today. I'm gonna to be posting some pictures of deciduous, broadleaf, and coniferous and all of that on um, the comments below. So be sure to check those out. If you have any questions about anything, please leave me any questions that you have. And um, Annie and I would love to help you learn more about nature. So look for more videos, more content coming from Kids Nature Shows. I'll be posting on Kids Nature Shows on Facebook, Kids Nature Shows on Instagram, and kidsnatureshows.com where I have a blog under latest news.